Hi. In today's class, we'll be um, particularly working on our hips and our back, as well as the rest of the body. We'll be moving through some sun, uh, moon salutations to begin with, which are slightly different to our normal sun salutations. Really fun, waking up the whole body. Um, prop wise, you'll be needing a block during our standing sequence. So have that at the front of your mat, maybe. And we're also going to be needing two belts today in our balance we're going to need one belt maybe and in our floor sequence we're going to do a back bend and you might need another belt there i don't have two yoga belts so the perfect um alternative is either a scarf brilliant or the belt of a bathrobe so have that ready and um yeah i hope you enjoy the class and have fun Yes, so um, today we're going to be um, focusing on, uh, well, not focusing, but moving and doing a lot of poses for our hips and our back. So if you have any back issues, then please be really mindful, don't hurt yourself. And same with your hips. And um, yeah, if there's any poses that you don't like, that you can't do, then you can skip them. But obviously, but it's nice to sort of play around with things so see how you go and we're going to start in child's pose and if you want like a nice wide legged child's pose so that your knees are maybe sort of hip or even sort of almost mat width apart whatever is comfortable for you and stretching our arms out if you can reach your forehead to the mat then place that down and if I find that a bit too intense, you could use your block and bring the block under your forehead and just relax there for a moment. And let's start breathing in and out through the nose and trying to stay with that breath during the class as we move through our poses. Breathing in. Breathing the lungs full with air, chest expand, breathing out, feeling the body soften. Breathing in, the body goes long, lengthen, breathing out, feeling the body sink deeper. Breathing in, filling your lungs as much as you can. Breathing out completely, letting all the used up air come out of your lungs. Inhale, feeling your belly, touch your thighs, your inner thighs maybe a bit more, the inside towards the inside of your thighs. Exhale, sinking down. Breathing gently, maybe today, just staying here in silence for a little while, focusing on your own breath, noticing the beginning of the inhale, all the way until the end, the same with the exhale, maybe holding our breath at the top for one moment, then letting the air seep out of your lungs, feeling the whole breath. Just stay here for a few breaths. You inhale, notice how your shoulders are moving apart, your back rounds a little bit. And as you exhale, feeling your chest sink towards the floor a little bit more, shoulder blades together. Okay, let's 
bring a little bit of movement into our child's pose. And let's walk our, stay with our arms stretched out. And let's walk our left hand over to the right side, either placing it next to the right hand or maybe even pressing the left hand on top of the right hand. Your head will probably move a little bit with it because it can't be central anymore. Let's just try to press that left hand either on top of the right hand or next to the right hand and feel that shoulder stretch. Feel that stretch in your left shoulder and also in your left side body. Taking a deep inhale here, intensifying that stretch. And exhale. One more deep inhale here. <laughs> Feeling that stretch. And exhale. One more inhale. And with the next exhale, we're going to gently walk our left hand back to where it was before, placing our head back into center, staying here for one breath. And now we're going to gently, gently walk our right hand over. Like a spider, we're walking with the fingers over and either hand. We can place that right hand next to the left hand or press the right hand on top of the left hand, whatever feels more comfortable. We're inhaling here. Nice, deep, full inhale. And exhale, sinking down. Inhale, feeling that stretch in the left, right shoulder now, right side body. Exhale. Inhaling, one more big inhale. And exhale, walking that right hand back to where it was, bringing our head back into center. One breath here. And we're going to pull our hands under our shoulders. We're going to press into our hands to gently come to kneeling. Lovely. Let's walk our hands out so that we're in a nice tabletop. We're going to do our wrist mobilization again today. So bringing our hands under our shoulders, our knees under our hips. And we're going to gently rock forward and backward. You can do those movements as small as you want, very gentle, or as big as you want. If you did them really big, you could almost come into a cobra here, pushing back into another child's pose, coming through, and pushing back. Or just very gentle, staying in the middle. Whatever feels good to you right now. Whatever your body needs today. Okay, one last time, either way. And then let's come into center. And we're going to turn our hands in so that our fingers are pointing towards our knees, our thumbs are pointing towards the outside edge of the mat, bringing our hands quite a bit closer to our knees spreading the fingers nice and wide and we're going to rock very gently now and <clears throat> feeling that stretch on the inside of our forearms and the inside of our wrists and even here if it's quite intense where you are the closer you bring your hands to your knees the less intense it's going to be and if you want you can even lift the heels of your hands up off the ground if that feels good and if you don't want to do that and don't do that. Just really move with how it feels good for you today. No pain though, if any time you feel like a sharp pain, not just the stretch, then please, please stop. Okay, one more, wherever we are. And then let's come to stillness in the center, and then we're turning our hands back around. And now the last time, one of these, we're going to place one hand at a time, the back of the hand on the mat, palm is facing us, Thumb is pointing to the inside of the mat, fingers to the knees. And we're rocking very, very gently here. Very gently. Stretching out the outside of the wrist, the outside of the forearm. And one more. And then we're coming into center again. Staying here for one moment, turning the hand back around, 
Stay here for one moment, letting that hand acclimatize. And now the other side. So turning the back of the hand onto the mat, placing my hand down a little bit here so you can see fingers nice and wide, all fingers in contact with the ground, even the fingertip of the thumb, just the, the little, like the inside. Thumb pointing inwards, fingers to our knees, palm facing us. And we gently, gently rock here. It's always maybe noting, noticing how one side feels different to the other, not judging, just noticing and maybe asking ourselves, hmm, why could that be the case? One more rock wherever we are. And then placing that hand back around, staying here for a moment. And let's sit on our heels and shake our hands out, like we're trying to shake water off them. There's no towels in the bathroom, so you're trying to shake your hands dry. <laughs> okay, let's stop. We're going to stretch our arms out in front of us, and we're making circles with our hands. One way, and then the other way. And maybe again, in, going around the other way again, and then again in the opposite direction. And now we're going to stretch our arms out. We're going to stretch our fingers nice and wide, make a fist. Fingers wide, make a fist. Fingers wide, make a fifth, lowering the arms. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're going to interlace our fingers like that. And we're going to try and make waves with our wrists. Lovely, really nice. And then we're going to try and do them the other way around. So that's always, I find like that change of direction a bit tricky. Great, looking good, perfect. All right, well done. Let's get back into our tabletop. And let's do a bit of cat-cow to mobilize our back, to wake our back up. So again, hands are on the shoulders and our wrists, elbows and shoulders are stacked on top of each other. Our knees are under our hips, about hip width apart. And let's inhale and we're arching our back. We're looking up, shoulder blades are coming together a bit, but shoulders are away from the ears. Exhale, we're pushing the ground away. We're sucking in our belly, we're rounding the spine, pushing the shoulder blades apart tucking the pelvis and chin to chest. Inhale, coming into our cow, arching the back. Maybe if you want, bending the elbows a little bit. I quite enjoy that, looking up. Exhale, pushing the ground away. We're pushing it away as if someone's push, uh, throwing it at you. Making yourself really round like the sea. Inhale, we're looking up. Really arching that spine. As so if something heavy is sitting on your back, a baby elephant. Exhale, we're pushing the ground away, rounding the spine. Chin comes to chest, rounding the upper back, middle back's pulling towards the ceiling, and our pelvis is pulling in. Inhale, looking up, feeling that stretch in our throat as well. Exhale, pushing away, rounding up. It feels like you're trying to lift off the ground. One more either way. Inhale, lovely cat cows there. Looking up in our cow. Exhale, into our angry cat. And at the end of that exhale, coming into a neutral spine. Lovely. We're going to tuck our toes now. And we're going to lift our heels and let's stay here with our, and then lift our knees, sorry. <laughs> with our knees hovering over the ground a couple of inches. Working our thighs, working our core, working our shoulders as well. Let's stay up for another five, four, three, two, one. And now pushing into the hands, straightening those legs, coming into our first down dog of the day. In down dog, our hands are still shoulder width apart, middle fingers pointing forward. Shoulders are pulling away from the ears and shoulder blades are slightly pulling apart. We have a nice flat back. If that means that you need to bend your knees a little bit, that's totally fine. You're engaging your core, you're sucking your belly in a little bit, hollowing it out, or just that feeling. You're dragging your heels towards the ground, drawing them towards the ground. They don't have to touch, but just by drawing them to the ground, we're activating the calves, the backs of the legs. Feet are hip width apart, toes pointing forward and we're looking towards the space between our big toes. Stay here for one or two breaths, just noting, noticing, and remembering how this feels. 
So when we move through our vinyasas, our moon salutations, we know what's coming. One more breath here. Okay, now let's gently, gently walk our feet forward, baby steps, little steps. And we're stopping with our feet about a foot length behind our hands. Let's just hang here for a moment, stretching our hamstrings. Let's just hang here, steady in the center. And if you want, you can start swaying. Swaying from side to side. Either you can hold opposite elbows, or you could draw your fingers over the mat. Imagine that you're drawing a rainbow with your fingertips. Lovely, bringing a bit of movement, a bit more movement into our backs and equally waking up our hamstrings. Okay, let's come into centre and stillness. Let's bend our knees quite a lot. We want to have our abdomen and our chest in contact with our thighs. We're tucking our chin through our chest and we're gently starting to roll up. Rolling up through the legs, straightening those legs, coming up. The last thing that we lift is chin off the chest. And come to standing. Lovely. And stand. Do one more stretch here. Let's stand with our feet like this, feet hip width apart, and let's step our right foot over in front of our left foot and step it so that there's like a foot width between your feet. We're going to inhale, raise our right arm up and exhale, slide down along our thigh. The left hand is on the left thigh and along that thigh to stretch our right side body. And one more breath here, inhale and exhale, we're coming out. Stepping back and other side. So we're stepping the left leg in front of our right, about a foot width between our feet, right hand on the right thigh, and inhale, lifting the left arm up and sliding that right hand down along our right thigh. Feeling that stretch, you can either look to the top hand or just look straight ahead. Inhale, one more time, and exhale, we're coming out. Lovely. Okay, so as I said, we're going to be doing moon salutations to begin with. Haven't done those in a while. And just to explain again, we're going to, at the beginning, go into a back bend, a standing back bend. So be really, really careful here. And also really engage your core and like maybe your glutes a little bit to protect your back. We don't want to hurt ourselves. And as we go into that back bend, we're doing these, um, like sort of crossing the thumbs, like the bird shadow puppet thing. And then later we're going, um, as we step back, we do a low lunge and then we come into a high lunge as we step forward and we're doing this James Bond mudra. <laughs> um, I was told that this temple mudra, I tried to look into it, but I couldn't confirm whether that's the right name. So I'm going to call it James Bond from now on. <laughs> okay, so stand here in front of our mat. You can either for Tadasana, have your feet together, toes, uh, feet touching, or feet hip width apart, whatever's feeling better to you. Feet together, maybe. And wherever you are, we're going to lift all our toes up into the air, spread them wide like a fan, and then lowering them one at a time. Lowering the little toe, fourth toe, middle toe, second toe, big toe. Maybe we're getting a bit better at that. Maybe we can see a little bit of mat between our toes. Lifting our heels, if that feels good to you, if it doesn't do anything for you, then don't, but I find that that gives me more grounding. We're tucking our pelvis a little bit, so just small movement here, tucking the pelvis, engaging our perineum, pelvic floor, and abs. Inhale, rolling our shoulders up, back, and down, bring our shoulder blades together. Doing that, opening our chest and palms are already facing forward. Lovely. As if someone's pulling us on a string right in the middle of the crown of our head, standing really nice and tall, but also tucking the chin ever so slightly for a nice flat neck. Okay, one breath here. Okay, next we're going to inhale, raise our arms. Exhale, we're pulling them into heart center. Now we're going to cross our thumbs, opening our palms, and we're going to come into that first little back bend, being really gentle. Exhale, we're folding down gently. Hands either side of the feet for our full forward fold, bending our knees if you want to. 
Inhale, half forward fold. Let's all bring our hands to our shins. Exhale, hands down. We're stepping back with the right foot, lowering the knee, untucking the toes. I'm coming up into a low lunge. Bring the shoulders up, back together, palms facing forward, and we're looking up at the ceiling. Lovely. Pressing into the back of the back foot, the right foot here. And by pressing into that foot, I personally find that I feel the hip activate more, feeling that hip stretch. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely, everyone. Inhale. Exhale. Placing hands either side of the front foot, tucking the right toes, lifting the back knee, stepping back into a plank. Inhaling a plank. Exhale. Knees down. Chest down, chin down, eight point pose, bum up in here. Inhale, we're sliding forward into Cobra Bhujanga Sun. We're untucking the toes as we're sliding. Shoulders pulling back, elbows pulling back and into the body. Exhale, tucking the toes, pushing into a down dog. Just in down dog for one breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, we're lifting the right leg and we're stepping in between our hands. We're coming up into a high lunge. And this is where we do the James Bond hand shape. We're going to bring our arms up and you're going to try to pull your arms back and have them maybe beside your ears or maybe even further back. Maybe if you can straighten your arms, your, um, your upper arms are pushing against your head, against your ears. If your arms are bent, that's totally fine. And here we're tucking our chin to our chest. We're looking to the front foot. And pulling back with that back heel, straightening that back leg, really feeling again our legs work and also our hip, what hips work. One more breath, inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale, hands down either side of the right foot and we're stepping forward with the left on the exhale. Inhale, hands to shins, half forward fold, exhale. Falling down, forward, 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 maybe bending the knees. And inhale, engaging our core, we're coming up with a flat back. Exhale, hands into heart center. Lovely, other side. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands into heart center again. And now inhale, we're opening our hands, crossing over with the thumbs, and coming into this really gentle, standing back bend. Exhale, folding down. Hands either side of the feet. Inhale, hands to shins, half forward fold. Exhale, hands down. We're stepping back with the left foot now. Quite a far, long step. Lowering the left knee, untucking the toes, and we're coming up into a low lunge. Running the shoulders up, back and down. Pressing into the top of that back foot. And almost, you could imagine, trying to bring your shin into contact with the mat. I, I don't know if that's anatomically possible, but just by imagining that, that's how you activate that back leg. Stay here for one more breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Hands either side of the front foot, tucking the back toes, lifting the left knee, stepping back with the right leg into plank. Inhale and plank. Exhale. Knees down, chest down, chin, Ashtangasana, eight point pose. Inhale, we're untucking the toes and sliding into a cobra. Lovely. Exhale, tucking the toes, pushing into down dog. Stepping in maybe a little bit if you prefer, and just, we're just staying here for one breath. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, we're lifting the left leg and we're stepping forward with it. Left foot in between the hands. I'm coming up into this high lunge now. Again, pistol hand shape, arms up, either side of the ears, straightening them as much as we can, chin to chest, we're looking down. Pulling back with those arms to straight, stretch our shoulders. One more breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, hands down either side, stepping forward with the right. Inhale, hands to shins, looking down, lovely. Exhale, hands down, falling down. Inhale, engaging the core, we're coming up. Exhale, hands into hand center. 
We're doing the same thing again. Standing up front of our mat. Okay, inhale, arms up. Exhale, pulling your hands into heart center. Now we're going to cross our thumbs over. Inhale, coming into the gentle back bend, going as far as you can. Exhale, we're folding down, full forward fold. Inhale, half forward fold, hands to shins. Exhale, hands down, we're stepping back with the right foot into a low lunge, lowering the knee and tucking the toes. We're coming up, again, pressing the back of the foot, the top of the foot down and imagining that we're trying to bring the back shin in contact with the mat, even if it doesn't work. And now rolling our shoulders back and down, looking up, feeling that stretch quite a bit in our right hip flexor. Breathing here, let's say for another breath. Inhale, exhale, lovely everyone. In, and even here we're doing a little back bend. Our fingers are pulling down, but we're looking up. Inhale and exhale, hands either side of the front foot, tucking the toes, lifting the right knee, stepping back. Inhale here, exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, we're sliding forward. Exhale, we're pushing back. Stepping in, we're only staying here for one breath. Inhale, down low. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, we're lifting our right leg and stepping forward in between the hands. And we're coming up into a high lunge. We want to square our hips, shoulders are parallel to the front edge of the mat. Back leg is straight, is engaged. Back heel is pulling back. Arms up, doing our James Bond hand pose. Pulling our arms back here, also a little back bend really bending into that front knee, maybe seeing if you could go deeper, go further into that bend. Stay here for another breath, inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, hands either side of the front foot, stepping forward with the back leg. Inhale, half forward fold. Exhale, full forward fold. And inhale, engaging our core. We're coming up. Exhale, hands and down center. Well done, guys. Okay, we're doing the other side. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands into heart center. We're crossing our thumbs. Inhale, reaching up and reaching back. Exhale, we're folding down. Inhale, half forward fold, hands to shins. Exhale, hands down, stepping back with the left foot. We're lowering the left knee and tucking the toes. And we're coming up here. Fingers are pulling down. We're looking up. We're pressing, pushing the top, the back of the back foot down, trying to get that engagement in our left hip flexor. Just looking up. Staying here, beautiful poses. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale, hands either side of the front foot. Tucking the back toes, lifting the left knee, stepping back with the right leg. Inhale, exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down. Inhale, we're sliding forward and tucking the toes, looking forward, elbows into the body. Exhale, tucking the toes and pushing back. Inhale here and exhale, stepping forward with that left leg. And we're coming up into our high lunge again. The back leg, the right leg is straight, it's engaged. The back heel is pulling to the back of the room. Shifts, shoulders are squared or parallel to the short edge of the mat, doing our Temple Mudra or James Bond Mudra, lifting our arms, pulling, like our index fingers are pulling towards the ceiling. Maybe, maybe pulling our arms further back to engage the back here. And also maybe see if we can bend a bit further into that front knee, a front hip. And tucking the chin, looking down. Staying here, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hands either side of the front foot. Stepping forward with the back foot, with the right foot. Inhale. Half forward, forward. Exhale. Full forward, forward. Inhale. Engaging our core. And we're coming up. Exhale. Hands into heart center. Lovely. So, moon salutations are quite different to our sun salutations, but I think they somehow a bit slower pace, but really, really lovely, especially for, for working our hips. Let's have a look. What are we doing next? Mm -mm -mm. Cool. Okay, let's come to the front of our mat. That's it with the standing back bends. They're quite intense, and I think they can be quite scary as well. So when you're going back, you're like, oh, am I going to topple back? And you obviously don't want to go too far. So be really careful there. It's better to stay on the safe side. Okay, we're standing at the front of our mat, lifting our toes again, lowering them down one at a time, lifting our heels again, engaging our core, our perineum, rolling our shoulders back and down. And inhale, we're raising our arms. Exhale, we're folding down. Inhale, half forward, forward, hands to shins, or fingertips to mat. Exhale, we're stepping back with the right foot. We're going to lower our knee one more time, or maybe for the next two, and we're going to come up and place our hands on our front thigh. And let's see, maybe try to be a bit more to the, on, have, don't rest right on your kneecap, but more on the meaty bit above, like almost on the, sort of towards your thigh, because it can be quite, painful when you're right on your kneecap. What we're going to do is we're going to kick in our back leg. And actually, if you have a belt ready and you can't reach your back foot, you could loop the belt around and pull your foot in like that. Or if you can reach the foot with your hand or with both hands, you can hold it here. And we stretch our quads, but also still the hips. And here, maybe play around with how upright you sort of kneel or lunge and like shifting your weight forward and a bit backward. I find that the more you go into the lunge, the more it's t intense the stretch becomes in the quad. Great stretch for those of us who run or cycle, but really everyone. Stay for one more breath. Inhale, exhale. You know, let's let go of that foot. Exhale, hands down, lift the knees, stepping back into a plank. <laughs> Stay in plank on the inhale. Exhale, knees down, chest down, chin down. And inhale, we're sliding forward into our cobra. We're going to stay here for a moment now. So in cobra, hands are under our shoulders, elbows are into the body, and also pulling back a little bit. Toes are untucked. Inhaling here. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, we're lowering our chest to the ground. We're going to bring our arms so that our elbows are under our shoulders. So it's like a um, like a box. What is it? A 90 degree angle? I'm um, horrible and stuff like that. But like you're sort of just chilling, like the swings. We're coming into swings, so you're lying like the swings. And here, we're going to shine our chest through our arms. Shine forward. We're going to, our lower ribs, our belly are still in touch with the ground. We're almost mentally pushing them towards the ground as well. It's really intense back bend. It doesn't look like it would be intense, but it's quite an intense back bend towards the lower middle part of the back. So be gentle with yourself. One more breath here. Inhale and exhale, coming down. Let's bring our arms out in front of us, maybe using the hands as a pillow for our head. Let's Rock our hips from side to side, releasing that back bend. Okay, great. Let's bring our hands under our shoulders again and press into one more cobra. Bhujangasana. Inhale, we're looking forward. And exhale, we're tucking the toes. We're pushing into a downward dog. Setting the feet in a little bit, maybe. Staying in downward dog for two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's lift. Inhale. Let's lift our right leg up. You can lift it quite a lot. You want your hip to open. And then, if you want, you can bend your right leg and have it fall 
towards like outside your as if you're trying to kick yourself in the le left bum cheek and really stretching here opening the chest pressing still equally into both hands and maybe as you're here getting your back foot the left foot a bit more in contact the heel with the ground or closer to the ground inhale exhale here inhale exhale stepping forward and we're stepping the right foot outside the right hand and we're lowering the back knee the left knee let's stay here we're in lizard pose your right arm is touching it's right in contact with the um right calf it's almost like the calf is hiding behind your arm if you can probably see here that you don't see much <laughs> Great. Okay, let's just stay here for a moment. And if you have your block at the front of your mat, you can we might be using that in a moment. So just have that ready. Just stay here for one more breath. And if you want it, we can come down now. You can place that block on the instep of your right foot. And we're coming down onto our left forearm and the right forearm. And it's quite um this can be quite intense. And also, one thing that happens quite a bit, I'll show you from the front, is that as we come down here, that left knee really flops out. And we want to try to keep that left knee as much over the left ankle as we possibly can. And that is where that block comes in handy, because it sort of lifts the ground up and makes it a bit more accessible. And you can either have it on that flat side or even on the high side. It's brilliant. It doesn't change the pose at all. You're still doing fantastic work. But you stay wherever you are and really try to challenge yourself to not have that knee fall out too much. One more breath here. Inhale. Real good effort, everyone. Exhale. Inhale, we'll push it into our hands, walking our hands in. Let's stay here again for one breath. Inhale, exhale, and now let's come onto the knife edge or the outside edge of the right foot and place the right hand just gently on the thigh. And now we want the knee to fall out. We're opening our hips in a slightly different way. Just staying here, and if you've got pain at any time, as always, please, please, please stop. Your hips are, can be very fickle. Okay, let's bring the sole of the foot back down, placing the hand down and we're going to lift the left knee tuck the toe stepping back into a plank and coming down knees chest chin in our sliding into our cobra and exhale let's push into a brief child's pose Sigh on the exhale if that feels good. <sighs> maybe in the child's pose, also noticing like we've been stretching our hips. Maybe, maybe you feel like you're a bit deeper into your child's pose, you're sinking a bit further into it. Okay. The next inhale, we're going to come up through a tabletop, tucking the toes, coming into a down dog. Inhale, exhale here, and let's step forward with the right foot, followed by the left. Inhale, half forward fold, hands to shins or fingertips to mat. Exhale, full forward fold. And inhale, let's come up. Exhale, hands into heart center. Lovely, everyone. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, inhale, arms up. Exhale, we're folding down. Inhale, half forward fold. Fingertips to mat or hands to shins. Exhale, stepping back with the left foot this time. Again, relatively long step back. And maybe seeing that we can be a bit more towards the top of the knee as we lift up our left leg, left calf. Foot. Again, if you can't reach that back foot, the left foot with your hand, you can loop 
losing my balance. Loop your belt around, or if you can reach it with one hand, that's great, maybe even the other, and holding that foot. Want to again, whoopala, losing my balance. Want to again have our hips and shoulders stacked on top of each other, facing in line with that short edge, the front edge of the mat. Again, let's experiment a bit. If I shift my weight forward a bit or back a bit, if I stand up, like kneel taller or sink a bit more into my hip, where do I feel that quad stretch the most? And wherever you're comfortable but challenged, stay there. And if you want, maybe pulling that foot closer to your glutes, closer to your bottom, that will also intensify it. Nice. You can always bring your right hand, especially or the forearm, on the like above your knee for a little bit of extra stability. Looks really good there. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, we're letting go of the foot. Exhale, hands either side of the front foot, so lifting the knee, stepping back into a plank. Inhale here and exhale, knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, we're sliding forward into a cobra. And we're staying here for a breath. Inhale, exhale. Lovely, our toes are pointed, pointing back, pulling back. Our elbows are pulling back. Inhale, with the next exhale, we're lowering our chest to the ground. Maybe making a pillow out of our hands, arms in front of us. And next we're going to bring our elbows under our shoulders, elbows and hands are short width apart, forearms are on the mat and our hands are also on the ground or the mat pressing into the ground. And again we want to shine our chest, our heart through our arms. Our belly is in touch with the ground so maybe it's a much more, our belly is heavy and pulling us down but our shoulders are light pulling us up and back maybe even pushing into those hands as if we're pushing the ground, the mat forward, engaging that back here. Again, super gentle. If you've got any pain at any time, please, please, please come out. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, we're lowering down. Again, arms in front of us, hands maybe on top of each other as a pillow for our forehead. And let's rock our hips from side to side. Ah, exhaling, maybe with a sigh. Hmm. Okay, let's bring our hands under our shoulders again. And inhale, we're lifting into a brief cobra. Exhale, we're tucking the toes, coming into a child's pose. And let's stay here in your child's pose for a moment. Either your arms stretched out in front of you, or if you wanted to, you can bring your arms around, maybe touch your feet, your ankles with your fingers, creating that round shape. One more breath in child's pose. Okay, if you had your arms alongside your body, let's stretch your arms out in front of us, pressing our hands into the ground, and inhale, we're moving through a tabletop, exhale, we're tucking the toes, we're coming into a down dog. Maybe stepping our feet in a little bit, two breaths and down dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. With the next inhale, we're lifting our left leg up to the ceiling, pointing the toes, and we're lifting so much that our hip opens here. And then we're dropping that left foot two behind us, as if we're trying to kick us in the right one. And pushing still into both hands here. Maybe, maybe the right heel comes closer to the ground and pulling back, really actively pulling that left foot down. But staying in that three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, we're straightening that leg out and behind us again. And exhale, we're stepping the left foot outside the left hand. Great, we're lowering our, um, our right knee and untucking the right toes. Again here, if you have your block ready, 
have that at the front of your mat, but we're staying here first. Staying in this upright lizard pose. Maybe, maybe, maybe pulling that left hip forward a little bit. And just playing around with your hip alignment, where your hips are, where do you feel that hip stretch most. Actually just it's like rocking our hips, just getting to know our body. And this can be different one day to the next, depending on what you did the day before. Inhale, exhale. Now we're going to come down onto our forearms. So if you have your block and you would like to use it, place it on the inside of your left foot. And we're going to come onto our right forearm and onto our left forearm. You can either have your block on the sort of flat big side or onto the skinny long side. That's a little bit higher. If you don't want to use a block, you don't have to. And again, the main thing here is try, try, try not to have your knee fall out too much. We're doing that in a moment. We're trying to have our knee above our ankle. Feel how that intensifies that um, hip flexor stretch in the left if you're stacking, if you're trying to keep your knee more in line, more stacked over the ankle. Looking to the ground in between your thumbs maybe. One more breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. In and we're pressing into our hands and we're coming up here. Maybe walking our hands in so that the hands are in um, next to the, the left foot but still under our shoulders. And let's place our left hand just on our thigh, the inner thigh, and open our hip now a little bit. Again, any pain, please, please, please do not do any of this. And going on the outside edge of the left foot, sole of the foot lifting off the ground. Okay, let's bring that foot back down, place our left hand again on the instep of the left foot, tucking the right toes, lifting the right knee and we're stepping back into a plank. Inhale, lowering knees, chest and chin, or oh, exhale, sorry, inhale, we're sliding forward into a cobra and exhale, let's come into another child's pose. Briefly, let's stay in child's pose for a moment. Just realize that I don't have the lights on. Okay, with the next inhale, we're pressing into our hands, we're coming into tabletop. Exhale, we're tucking our toes, we're shifting into a down dog. Save two breaths, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, the next inhale, stepping forward with the left foot, followed by the right foot. Inhale, half forward, forward, fingertips to the mat, or hands to the shins. Exhale, full forward, forward. And inhale, we're engaging our core, we're coming up. Exhale, hands into heart center. Lovely, well done. I think our hips are definitely mobilized now. So um, I'm thinking, so we could either do a, let's try and do a bird of paradise. It's a really, really tough pose and quite, but well, I find it tough and I haven't done it in ages as well, but I thought we've just really mobilized our hips so it's really worth a go. Um, I will show you first and here you might also want to use your belt if you have one or towel or whatever you've got. And um, don't worry if you finding it difficult, it is a difficult position. So what, I'll show you how we do it. So we're coming into a low lunge again. I'll show you from the front because I think that's um, more, if you can see it better. We're coming down, it's very much like a lizard and we're coming down and we're trying to thread our arm I'll show you more from the side. Trying to thread our arm through here. I'm trying to get our arm sort of past our glutes, like shimmying it, 
and bringing it there you can see that and then if you using a belt if you're using a belt you don't even need to try that hard you can just try and bring it alongside your bum and you bring the belt behind you and then we tuck our back toes we're stepping with that back foot closer to our front foot and we see if we can balance and come up and then maybe if we can stretch our legs um it is a challenging pose but i think we can do it you guys can do it we can give it a try really woken up our hips so let's try and do this and we're just going to just try to think what's a better way of starting so let's step back with the left because i suppose more people are right-handed and actually hold on does that make sense no actually let's step back with our left because i think it's easier when your right leg is the standing leg so the we're stepping back with the right the left leg is bent and the front okay great <laughs> i can't i confuse myself with right and left we're coming down we've got our belt handy and we're coming down a quite a nice long step back and we're going to see if we can almost get our shoulder a bit under our knee here and then threading that left arm through and seeing if we can reach back and bring that hand in contact just towards our bum. And if you're using a belt, holding the belt in the right, we're letting go of the floor, lifting the right arm off the floor, bringing the belt behind us and seeing if we can reach it. From here. So for here, my hand, can you see that? Yeah, so can my hand is here. I'm bringing the belt up and I see if I can reach it with my other hand and then maybe pulling that hand in. Okay, if we're holding the belt in both hands, we're coming onto the, um, we're lifting the right, if we're tucking the right toes, we're lifting the right foot off, uh, right knee off the ground. And then we're going to see if we can step forward and bring our right foot more or less next to the left. And as we do this, you'll come onto the tip toes of your left foot. Stay here for one breath. If you want to stay here, that's fine. Well done, amazing everyone for trying. It's all about trying. And now let's see if we can lift our left foot off the ground. Oh my God, amazing guys. Trying is all that is, this is about. And then when we're up, maybe, maybe looking really good. And if you're falling back down, that's totally fine. Maybe seeing if you can just a tiny bit, yeah, exactly, just a tiny bit straighten that way. That's totally fine. Don't worry if you're finding it difficult. And then come out as elegantly as you can. Well done, everyone, for trying. As I say, I know it's a really tough one, but you did amazingly. Really well done. Let's do the other side. So what do we do? We step back with the left knee now. We're left leg now, so we're on the left knee. If at any point you find that really uncomfortable in your knee, you can also put this roll of your mat over. So you've got a bit of extra cushioning. I don't know why, but my left knee has been a bit, it's been complaining recently. Okay, so we're right legs bent. We're coming down here, placing again the right hand down. And what I always find funny with those balances is get so out of breath doing them. And then we're bending our elbows we're going to see if we can bring our right shoulder under our under our right leg knee crease then we're going to bring our right arm see if we can touch our right glute with the back of our right hand and then lifting the left hand off and using that belt well done everyone and then once we're holding the belt we're tucking our left toes, we're lifting, ooh, lifting the left knee off the ground and we see if we can step forward. And now, trying, 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 trying to lift up. And, ooh, and you might fall out and that's fine. Well done trying. 
Okay, let me get one more go. One more go, wherever we are. Great, and then let go. Well done, thank you for trying this with me. Huh. We're moving to the floor now, so this is it. I think with these things, it's always a question of trying it. We, we, we had a time last summer where we did it a couple of times, but maybe it's another question of just doing it a bit more regularly and seeing how it goes. Cool. Okay, um, let's go through one last vinyasa to get on the floor and we're going to get to our belly. So inhale, raising our arms. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, half forward fold, fingertips to mat, so hands to shins. Exhale, hands down. Stepping back into plank. Inhale, exhale, plank. And exhale, we're coming down, knees, chest, chin, chest, around or whatever. Inhale, sliding through into cobra. And exhale, we're lowering our chest to the ground. So we a quick look what we're doing. Okay, we're going to do a few more of those back bends. So we'd come into our cobra uh, swings again. So our elbows are uh, under our shoulders. Our forearms are on the ground. Pressing our forearms, our hands into the ground. We're going to just look up here. Inhale, exhale. Again, we're shining our heart through our chest. Belly is on the ground, shoulders are pulling back. Inhale, exhale. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale, coming down. Placing our hands under our forehead if we want. Quick rock here. Oh, maybe an exhale and sigh. Oh. Okay. A few. I think you can go a bit further in your back bend if your back's feeling good. You can bring your hands under our shoulders now and instead of, um, and your hands are half on the mat and half off the mat. It's quite wide. If you don't want to do this, just either do cobra or swings again. And on the inhale, we're pushing into our hands. We're coming to a high cobra so that our chest, our belly are off the mat. But you want to keep your groin, your hip, on the mat. We're looking up. And imagine you're rolling over a beach ball. So you're bending through the whole back. Not just the lower back, but also the middle back and the upper back. One breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. By looking up, you feel a stretch in your throat. And exhale. We're gently melting down. Arms in front of us, hands on top of each other, and we're rocking from side to side. <sighs> Lovely. Now, we're going to do Shalabhasana, um, which is um, going to do it in three stages. I'll show you the, the completed or full pose now so that's why we lift our arms off the ground and Alex is sort of creating this banana shape um, but we're going to do it in three stages so first we're just going to lift our chest off the ground off the ground our legs staying on the ground then we're going to lift our legs off the ground our chest staying off the ground and then if you want you can do both legs and chest off the ground but don't feel like you have to do it just do whatever feels good to you okay so the, we're lying down on our bellies, or we stay lying down on our bellies. Our forehead is on the mat, our nose is squishing on the mat. Our arms are alongside our body, palms are facing our thighs. And we're going to um, inhale, exhale. With the inhale, the next inhale, we're going to lift our chest off the mat. And we're going to look just a little bit ahead of us. You don't want to yank our neck back by looking straight forward, just looking on the ground. 
Your lower ribs are definitely in touch with the ground. Maybe some of your upper ribs are lifting up. And imagine your fingers are pulling back. Looking down. Inhale here. And exhale, we're folding back down. And again, bring our hands in front of us, our arms in front of us, hands step. And let's just relax. Actually, take your head off the um, your hands and just place one cheek on the mat and look one way to let to also release your neck a little bit here and remember which cheek you've got on the ground on the mat now because we want to do the other side the next time around okay let's bring our forehead back on the mat also our nose arms are alongside the body again inhale exhale here and with the next inhale, we're lifting our legs off the ground. And as we lift our legs off the ground, try to lift them as much as you can. Maybe your knees are coming off the ground. Maybe your thighs are almost coming off the ground. And your fit feet are really pointed, really pointed. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, let's lower your legs back on the mat. And placing our face again on the ground, like on one cheek on the mat. And as I said, ideally the other one now. Closing your eyes, maybe rocking your hips back and forth here to release the back. Okay, come back and center, stillness. And now we're going to try and do the four pulse. So lifting our chest and our legs off the ground. If you don't want to do that, don't do that. So you can either do just chest, just legs, or you can just lay on your belly and relax. Okay, so inhale, exhale here. And with the next inhale, we're lifting our legs and our chest off the ground. Our fingers are pulling back and you're making this banana or smile shape. You're flying. The only thing that's in touch with your with the mat really is your belly and your hips. Inhale, maybe lifting a little higher. Exhale, and one more inhale, maybe lifting a tiny bit higher, and exhale, melting down. And again, if you want, you can bring your arms to the front if you find that comfortable, placing your face down, one cheek on the mat, again the other way. And breathing here. Maybe rocking our hips one way, then the other, releasing the back. and coming back and now we're going to be starting to do a bow pose quite similar in a way to um what we just did just a little bit extra with um kicking our feet in and here if you've got a belt and maybe a scarf the double belt we want both of those in reaching distance but we're going to do one side at a time first and then both so we're going to lie on our bellies, <laughs> continue to lie on our bellies, quite nice. And we're going to, we're going to start with my left because you can see that a bit better. So kicking our left foot in, up, and bringing our foot close to our glutes. And then bringing our left hand back. We can see if we can grab the foot. And um, we're going to see if we can grab the end of the foot. We're going to hold the um a hand would go around the outside of the foot or maybe even our ankle just trying to yeah i think the outside is a bit nice or the ankle if you can't reach your foot then that's totally fine and we're just using our belt or our scarf or whatever we have to put that around our foot and use that okay and wherever we are whatever we're holding we're going to inhale, we're kicking our thigh off. You're kicking your foot. The movement's coming from the leg, not the shoulder. And we're lifting our left thigh off the ground. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale, lowering the thigh back to the ground, releasing the grip or letting go of the belt, and lowering our head on the mat. And again, rocking from side to side. And then we can do the other side. I'll just quickly 
shimmy around. So you can see that. Now kicking the right foot up and bringing the foot really close to our glutes and maybe see if we can grab the foot or the ankle with our hand. If we can't, we use a belt. And hold that. And then inhale, exhale, inhale. The foot is kicking up, kicking up into the belt, into our hand, and that's why the thigh is lifting. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and we're coming down now. Letting go of the belt or of the foot. I'm just relaxing here for a moment. Okay. We are now going to try and do um, both feet. So either we're going to grab both feet with our hands if we can reach, which is great. Or maybe if you can go a bit further, you could try and get to your ankles. If you can't reach your feet, we're going to have to um, experiment with our props a little bit. So let's make a loop out of the scarf. That's what I have. Bring that around one foot, make a loop out of my uh, belt, bring that around the other foot. Try to hold your belt, scarf, props in a similar distance and then kick up like this. Let's do it all together. Inhale, exhale and inhale. Let's kick our feet into our hands or into our belts. Coming up lovely. Looking for shining our heart, our chest through and forward again. Stay for one more breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, let's lower down gently, letting go of the feet, arms in front, and just rocking from side to side, and think that's a good time to find stillness for a final relaxation and here you can either stay how you are now do shavasana on your belly you could bring your arms in front of you make a little pillow like put your hands on top of each other a little pillow for your forehead you could also push back into a child's pose if you want to do your final relaxation a couple of minutes in child's pose or you could lie on your back for the classic shavasana. Whatever you want to do. Shavasana on your belly can sometimes be quite nice. It's a bit more... can sometimes feel a bit more relaxing. Um, or your organs moving towards your... moving towards the mat. Your inner organs. Also, our bellies are quite um, soft and sensitive. So by exposing our back to the world, by lying on our tummy today, we might feel a bit more safe. If you are lying on your back, you I would say, have your feet fall in a little bit and have your heels fall, if the toes are pointing in, your heels are falling out a little bit, if that feels good, or just have them point back. Chest is on the mat, especially if you're using your hands as a pillow, so make sure that you're not pulling your shoulders close to your ears. And just relax here. If you're lying on your back in Shavasana, your feet are about hip to mat with the far part, feet falling out, arms are by the side of your body, about 3 inches, 15 centimeters between the hands and the hips, palms facing up. And let's just breathe here, slow, 
gentle, natural rhythm, however you want to breathe through. Feeling into your body, how that movement has changed things, how the class is resonating in yourself. Lying in your belly, it's quite nice to feel. On the inhale, your abdomen press against the ground. And on the exhale, belly moving away. So now your chest sinking more into the ground. Inhale, your body lengthens. Exhale. Body gets soft. Noticing everywhere where you're in touch with the ground, the tops of your feet, your toes, your knees and your thighs, hips, your belly, your ribs and your chest. Your arms are out in front of you, your upper arms, your forearms, one of your palms touching the ground, the other palm on top of the hand. Your head lying heavy on your hands. Your back is exposed to the air. Are you noticing where the air is touching your back? Where the fabric of the top of the leggings or shorts is touching the skin. How does that feel different? Noticing the soles of your feet exposed. I'm just relaxing here for a moment.
child's pose. For those lying on their backs, let's hug your knees into your body, rock from side to side, and then drop over to the right side. Head on your right upper arm, left hand in front of your chest, and maybe at some point pushing into that left hand and coming up. And if you're in child's pose, then gently pull your hands under your shoulders and push into your shoulders to come to seated. Okay. Sit either kneeling or cross-legged, whatever you fancy. And um, let's make a nice big circle with our arms, as we tend to do after every class. Inhaling, looking up to the thumbs. Exhaling, we're pulling our hands down. And let's bring our thumbs to the space between our eyebrows, to our third eye, for clear and kind thoughts. Bring your thumbs to our throat, for clear and kind words. Bring your thumbs to our heart, for clear and kind feelings, to others and ourselves. And if you want, bow with gratitude to the practice of yoga and gratitude to ourselves for moving today. Thank you so much for moving with me. And thanks for sticking with um, Bird of Paradise, it is a killer pose. <laughs> so I hope you had fun.